Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to demonstrate to you how you can target news posts to various audiences using the audience targeting feature in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me explain to you what this is all about. This is a relatively new feature that we now have in SharePoint. And the idea is that as you uh, post new news and announcements, let's say on your internet, you can target those news and announcements to various audiences. So for example, uh, if the uh, news post needs to be seen by a certain group of users only, you can target it to that specific group of users. And what that means is that others will not see that particular news post. So let me explain to you how to achieve this. Uh, there are actually three steps involved. Step number one, we need to enable audience targeting feature on the site pages library. The site pages library is where all the pages, all the news posts reside. That's step number one. Step number two, we need to enable the audience targeting feature on the news widget itself. All right. And once we do that, uh, step number three would be to specify the particular uh, group of users uh, on the news post level. Uh, that need to that need to see that particular news post. So let me walk you through all the three steps that I just mentioned. Uh, let's go to my human resources um, site. And so this happens to be an HR employee site. And let's just say we want to target our sales team. Maybe there is a, a conference or something. We want to provide some details to them, but you know that's irrelevant to anyone else. So the news post. Um, needs to be seen that particular news post needs to be seen only by the sales team members so let's go ahead and make it happen so step number one we need to enable the audience targeting feature on the site pages library this is where all the news posts reside so we navigate to the site which we already did we then go to the gear icon site contents and site pages library this is where all the news uh, posts reside right here. And let me go ahead and enable the uh, feature. So again, we now click gear icon, library settings. We kind of go behind the scenes. And over here under general settings, you see audience targeting settings. We need to enable them. So let's click and you see that you need to click the checkbox, enable audience targeting. So step number one is completed. We have enabled it at the site pages library level. What we need to do now is enable it uh, on the uh, on the news widget itself. So let's do step number two. To do that, we need to edit the page now. Click on the news widget. Click the little pencil icon on the left. And if you scroll down over here, you see uh, you will see this toggle, which is off by default. We need to enable it. All right, so we need to enable that. Hit republish. Perfect. So we completed step number two now as well. There is only one step that remains. And um, let's go ahead and let's say and publish a new news post, but let's specifically target it to the sales team. So I'm going to add a new news post. All right, just basing it on uh, the regular template. So let's just say sales team uh, conference details or something like that. That's what our post is all about. Um, and you know we don't care about the actual text here. All right, but before we publish it, before we post the news, what we need to do is we need to set the audience target and we need to specify who this post will be seen by. Uh, for that, you need to click page details on the right uh, on the top ribbon. And then on the right, you will notice in the in this window on the right hand side, you see this additional, audience feature. Now, this would not be here if we didn't do the previous two steps. I just want to clarify it. So you only get to see this. The reason why we see this area over here, uh, the audience area, is because we completed the first two steps, right? When we enabled the audience targeting feature at the site pages library and then at the news widget uh, uh, level. Uh, now, by default, this news post will be seen by everyone. So if I leave it blank, if essentially hit post news, it will be seen by everyone. And um, I'm going to specify who uh, will need to see it, though. Uh, so if I specify someone here, 
right here, uh, then what that means is that this post will only be seen by that particular group that I type in. Otherwise, if I leave it blank, it will be seen by everyone. So in this case, I'm going to specify the, the name of the group. Uh, this happens to be, right, it could be a security group, an ID group in your environment, in your Office 365 tenant. Uh, in this particular case, this actually happens to be the name of the Office 365 group, uh, which is a security group um, uh, by itself. So here we go. I'm just specifying that only sales members should see it. And we click post news. Here we go. Look at this. Um, let's refresh this page just to make sure that uh, everything went fine. Yeah, it did. Perfect. So I had this news article before. Here is my new one. Here is my new uh, post right here. Now, obviously, because I'm an admin, I get to see it, right? Uh, but uh, to prove the point that it's not going to be seen by uh, by everyone, uh, let me um, show you uh, the screen right here. Uh, on this particular browser, I'm logged in as Mary, and Mary um, is not part of the sales team, so she is not part of that sales team members group that I showed you previously. And look at this. That's exactly what is happening. Uh, Mary navigated. You see, I'm logged in as Mary. Same site, but that message that um, news post uh, related to the sales team is missing. Uh, why? Because Mary does not have access to this, right? We set the audience to target just the sales team members, right? So uh, that's a very nice feature uh, as you create new news posts, right? Sometimes it might get overwhelming, but they can all sort of uh, different audiences. Uh, and um, in my opinion, it's just a very, very nice addition to modern SharePoint because as you post all those different news and announcements, you can target uh, different groups of users, maybe full-time employees and part-time employees and contractors or various department uh, team members. All right, so that's all I wanted to cover today. Hopefully, you learned something new uh, in this particular video. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.